Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ron Schmitz. I'm an executive advisor for Trax Electronics, a Calgary-based company founded roughly 15 years ago that specializes in digital applications focused on drilling and completions efficiency and performance. Before getting into the presentation, I'd like to take a moment to thank the SPE for the opportunity to talk to you today and to thank the co-chairs, James and Lee, for their help in coordinating things overall. This afternoon, I want to talk to you about AI-enabled automated digital dull bit analysis, forensics, and analytics. We'll be starting with a discussion of how dull bit grading is handled today and some of the shortcomings with the current system. Then we'll have a look at where the industry is heading, the work that the IADC has underway to upgrade the protocols, the increased emphasis on cutter damage versus bitware, and the shift in focus toward forensic analysis. Next, I'll give you a brief look at the grade system, which automates cutter damage assessments. And lastly, there'll be a discussion on drilling dysfunction analysis and higher level analytics, with some examples of what can be done in this area. We'll start off with a look at what the current standard of practice is with respect to dull bit grading. I'm not going to spend a great deal of time going through the intricacies of the existing IADC bit grading protocol, but this slide, which is borrowed from a presentation on bit grading that can be accessed at the website shown, gives an example of how a used PDC bit would be, or at least should be, graded. As you can see in the photographs, some cutters are showing no wear, some cutters are showing abrasive wear, and some cutters are showing other types of damage. Some cutters are spalled, some cutters are chipped and or broken, and some cutters appear to be showing a mix of damage. In fact, the damage patterns shown on this bit indicate that it has a story to tell us about how the various cutters were damaged, a story that is not well described by the bit wear coating shown, even though it may have been done properly. It seems somewhat strange to me that the bit, which is really the pointy end of the spear when it comes to drilling, a critical component in the overall process, that the bit is the last piece of the drilling puzzle to be digitized. In addition to a somewhat unfriendly coding structure, the current system relies on individual human interpretation, which can vary widely depending on who does the grading. As well, one code is given for the entire bit, which can often have 40 or more individual cutters. Photos may or may not be available, but even when they are, they are often suffer from low resolution, inconsistent lighting, poor fo focus, or perspectives that make it difficult to piece things together properly. In short, trying to decipher how to make improvements using today's bitware data is a laborious and often frustrating process. As a result, today's bitware data is of limited use and generally used in very limited ways. But change is coming. The IADC is currently in the process of reworking the protocols. Another factor that has changed is that with the advances that have taken place in cutter technology in recent years, Cutters are now strong enough that abrasive wear is often not a major factor. Rather, other types of damage can represent the determining factors in a bit's performance. As a result, the approach is changing from bit wear to cutter damage. In a recent presentation to one of the IADC subcommittees that we are involved in, Fred Dupree gave his opinion that it's not so much which bit you use as how you use it. This is quite a departure from what has been the most common approach, where we always seem to be focused on choosing the best bit. What's coming out of the IADC's committee work thus far, then, is that rather than looking at the bit as a whole, the focus is turning to individual cutter damage assessment and combining this with forensic investigation to determine the drilling dysfunction that caused the damage to those cutters, and analysis to determine what can be done to mitigate that dysfunction. 
It's also becoming ever more clear that machines and AI will become increasingly capable in providing reliable cutter damage data. Beyond that, with the increased data that results from the cutter level approach, higher level analytics are coming into play, but more on this later. When we look at the bit-related decisions that are made as part of the overall drilling process, we can divide them broadly into three categories. First, the decision on the next bit and BHA to run back in the hole needs to be made in a matter of minutes, certainly less than half an hour in most cases. After that, it may be possible to make changes to some operational parameters before the bit reaches bottom, a matter of hours. Lastly, more in-depth analysis and study can take place over a much longer term. Now we'll take a look at a machine-based approach to cutter damage assessment, the GRADE system. The GRADE system uses an autonomous, robotically controlled camera to produce very high-resolution 3D visualizations of drill bits, which are then brought into specialized software for processing and analysis. To start the system, the user simply stands the bit up on the pin, slides the scanner into place, enters the basic bit identification data, such as bit model and serial number, and presses start. At the top left of the viewer screen, there are several buttons, one of which is the cutter toggle, which when selected serves to highlight the damaged area of each of the individual cutters. Individual cutters can also be selected by clicking on them in the 3D visualization, as indicated by the red arrow. The cutter selected will then appear in the cutter window to the bottom right. At the bottom of the screen, there is a table of the data produced by the software engine. The software identifies, without user input, the blade and the cutter number for each individual cutter. It also determines the wear factor and the various IADC protocol damage characteristics shown. In addition to these damage characteristics, the software determines the remaining cutter volume percent, the remaining diamond table face percent, and the remaining diamond table volume percent. All of this data is exportable to CSV format for further analysis and analytics. Recent repeatability and tolerance tests on grade scan results have demonstrated the accuracy to be in the order of one to two thousandths of an inch. This provides the ability to produce heat map comparisons by overlaying one bit on another, for example, a dull bit on a sharp bit. The software has three different heat map views available, with chromatic differential scales shown to the left. They include flat cutter wear, wear by radius, and absolute difference heat maps. The flat cutter wear view serves to delineate damage to individual cutters. The wear by radius view provides average wear at any particular radius, which highlights, on an average basis, what general areas of the bit are being worn. And the absolute difference view shows the actual difference between, for example, a dull and a sharp bit at all points on the bit, including the body. The software also has what we call a bit stacker view. This view serves to display the data for all the bits being considered from a higher level comparative analytics perspective. In the screen shown, the bits are grouped by model type with each row of colored squares representing the analysis results for a given bit run and each square representing an individual cutter. Clicking on an individual square will bring that particular cutter up in the cutter window for closer inspection. Using this view, you can easily compare damage to the same cutters across different bit runs, for example, or you could review the damage profiles of nearby or surrounding cutters on a particular bit. The comparative analytics view is available for the various analysis results shown, include including volume losses, wear factors, and damage characteristics. Lastly, the GRADE software offers the capability of capturing high-resolution images from any perspective desired on the 3D visualization, zoomed in or zoomed out. Once again, all of the analysis data can also be downloaded in CSV format for further use as required. Okay, so we've had a look at the GRADE system, a machine-based approach to cutter damage assessment. This slide gives an overview of the workflow for the system when located at a rig site. 
As we noted previously, different types of decisions have different time requirements. On the left, we see that within minutes, someone can remotely connect and maneuver the system's camera to view the bit live, or the system can automatically produce high resolution photos of the bit, or the system can automatically produce video of the bit, or any combination of all three. Going a little further, in roughly 90 minutes, the system can generate the 3D visualization shown in the software demo previously, along with the cutter-by-cutter -cutter analyses demonstrated, all in time to make adjustments to drilling parameters if necessary before the bit is back to bottom. Finally, over the longer term, more detailed dysfunction analysis can be done, along with higher level analytics to look for trends and patterns so that changes can be made to overall bit design and cutter design, as well as how the bits are operated. This slide gives some actual results from a Montney drilling program in Northwest Alberta in 2020. The operator had decided to do comparison tests with bits from several different suppliers. One of the bit vendors chose to scan their dull bits when they were returned to their shop for repair to see if they could use the results to make improvements. This graphic shows the percent remaining diamond table results for six bits of the same model, all run in the lateral section in order of distance drilled. The bit on the top left showed massive damage after drilling only 20 meters. A quick review of the drilling data indicated likely damage from drilling out the intermediate casing shoe in this case. The drilled bit intervals for the other bits ranged from 571 meters to 2960 meters, with the last bit drilling the entire lateral section just under 3000 meters in one run. This is another plot from the same drilling program. On the left, we have a well which required four bits to drill the lateral section. Of those bits, bit number two was scanned with the remaining diamond table results shown in the corner of the plot, indicating significant cutter damage after a drill depth of 743 meters. The dark trace in this graphic is ROP and the orange trace is a calculated parameter related to MSE. On the right, we have another well in the program where the entire ladder was lateral was drilled with one bit, the same bit from the previous slide, and the remaining diamond table results are shown in the top left, indicating minimal cutter damage. Although we don't have time to get into any more detail in this forum, the data shown would demonstrate that the second bit is fully capable of drilling an entire lateral given the right drilling conditions. A back of the envelope calculation yielded an estimated savings of $200,000 between the two laterals on trip time alone. As we accumulate more related cutter damage data, we can begin to use analytics tools to look for patterns in this data. This graphic shows the grade bit stacker view, which groups results by bit model and shows the cutter damage data in a heat map type of representation, where each square shows an individual cutter ranging from dark blue, that is no damage, to red, extreme damage. By clicking on any individual cutter square in the graphic, the 3D visualization of that particular cutter can be opened. This facilitates looking for patterns in cutter damage by position on the bit and makes it easy to have a detailed look in 3D at any particular cutters you want to compare. It also allows you to look at surrounding cutters, which can be valuable in identifying causes of damage in some instances. These types of analytics views can be done for any of the damage types analyzed, whether it be diamond surface, diamond volume, cutter volumes, falling, chipped cutters, broken cutters, etc. So, in summary, the world of bit grading is evolving and change is coming quickly. The change includes high resolution manipulatable 3D visualizations of dull bits, 
with machine-generated analyses of damage on a cutter-by-cutter -cutter basis. Combining this information with EDR data provides valuable insights into drilling dysfunctions and how to mitigate them. With the abundance of new data types being generated, analytics to assess patterns and trends, among other things, will become increasingly important in improving drilling performance over time. The digital dull bit has finally arrived. Thank you for your time and attention this afternoon.